gay. Are we on the internet? Holy cow. We live and die on the, the internet. internet. For you. Come back with a link. Yeah, and, and we're live yeah. on the internet. Byron? Hey. Take it away. Hello. <laughs> What's happening, Myth Brigadiers? Ooh. Or brig Brigands, or whatever. More Myth Brigands, I guess, yeah, I like than that. Myth Brigadiers. Yeah, because we're more like, you know, thieves and, you know, bad people, I guess. For I don't know. We're terrible, guys, we're terrible yeah. people. <laughs> but uh, we're here for episode three. Uh, <laughs> 300? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah. Chapter three. So, but anyway, here for... Falling uh, off the Arabic numeral scale. Yeah, yeah. We're, 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 <laughs> we're into Roman numerals. Yep. Definitely, for sure. Well, welcome, guys. Uh, hopefully, people will join us and see that we're still on the air because I don't know. It's been a, it's been a long time. Yeah. Who knew that the reopening of the country was going to cause such a dramatic uh, influx of shit for us to do? Yeah, I know. I've I've actually uh, sent an yeah, email I mean, to. We all, uh, we all we all knew. Yeah, I've sent an email to. Know, how did we game before the pandemic? <laughs> How yeah. did we have time to do this before the pan? Oh, that's right, we didn't. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, that could be it. It could be it. Could be it. But anyhow, so uh, yeah, welcome. We're going to get a little bit of uh, maybe Knights Black Agents game going on. Everybody's back to their original characters and no longer off in the 1940s trying to catch Armilla Karnstein after they murdered her with explosives the only way they know to kill vampires but no idea what you're talking uh about. go around the horn real quick dan kaplan in your basement what's up in my basement all seven years and running still in my basement seven years and still running. Uh, it's going good man my 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 dd campaign is now in person so i've actually I, I have to admit i did leave the basement for a few hours the last three sundays in a row so. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you seriously? Thank you for asking. That's a very, you know, the rashes and the sun, you know, that bright thing. It was blinding. <laughs> I'll tell you after the game. It's 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 okay. a little personal. Sunglass. They make these sunglass things. It's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, do they? Oh yeah, you're right. I, you know, yeah. this sounds and, made up. It sounds like a government conspiracy to me. Oh well, everything's government conspiracy, isn't it? Mm, yeah, that's the Thank only you. people that do conspiracies <laughs> with the government. Right. And, and that's all I have to say. <laughs> I think, I think it's the aliens, for sure. Well, obviously, Project Project Blue Book. I'm Ooh. serious. Evan Evan would agree with me. You're goddamn right, he would. Just wait for Actually, the. Have wait. you seen those videos again yes! of the alien, like the unidentified flying objects? I'm so excited. No. And what I love, they've been identified. They're not UFOs anymore. That's true. They're IFOs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, well, they're alien. So they're I. Uh, I suppose. That, that doesn't make them identify. I, I mean, that stuff was on sixty minutes, man. That's like what. I, what I Ooh. love is is there are these threads. <laughs> there are these threads with all the footage, and they're like, oh, you know, it's it's ah, oh, it's probably not aliens. Maybe it's China. But then there's actual other news where China is launching like basic rockets. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, it's totally probably China. No one's paying attention to that, and they're like, what? Absolutely China. Like no. <sighs> That's because China's on the Russian bandwagon, where they're just like, we just build shit big and put a lot of fuel in it, and it'll get to space. And it works, man. But it, it does. Their shit does work. Don't they have a Mars rover now? Or are they uh, just... The Chinese Mars rover? I don't know. And the Chinese America. space station is operational now. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. we should uh, endeavor to have the first uh, extraterrestrial player on the channel. That's what I think. When all this mm. comes out, oh. introduce them to role playing. Absolutely. They'll stop the conquest of our world because they'll be like, oh, this is pretty sweet. Like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> I mean, that would distract me from conquest. <laughs> I'm just saying. Really? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, if I ever go to an alien planet, another planet, the first thing I'm going to want to do is sit down with some of the natives and role play. Yes. Absolutely. And offer them like warm blankets and. <laughs> Things like that, because that's what you do when you meet indigenous people, right? <laughs> not smallpox blankets, that's not those heard. special ones, not the no. It'll be COVID. Ones. It'll be COVID blankets. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, Tara, how you doing? 
All your, right. new, your new humble abode that you own. My new, my new digs. I can see the floor. I can move around. I have a bedroom. It's all good. Awesome. And there's a window there that looks like your ground floor. Yeah, that's a two-level townhouse style thing. It's my patio with my little garden. It's nice. beautiful. I saw your new furniture on Facebook. It looks pretty cool. It's bumpy. Yeah. And your it's... super powered like fire pit thing. Yeah, that thing's pretty sweet. The apocalypse pit. <laughs> the apocalypse pit. Apocalypse yeah. pit. <laughs> that sounds like a bad role playing game. <laughs> no, no, that would be that'd be Knights Black Agents on Myth Brigade. Oh wait. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, I mean who, just ran ran. Back. Who who brought this guy? Yeah, I'm seriously. I yeah. Damn. All right. <laughs> anyway, Brent, how you doing? I'm doing well. Um <laughs> Well, same as you guys, like uh, things reopening uh, it changed a lot. Uh, ch changed everything about how my uh, how my uh, company is do doing things. Uh, so we got people back in uh, receiving therapy, and that was the biggest thing. So like the place is bustling, which is weird because like it was all of us just hanging out in these like sad offices making telephone calls, like we were uh, cold calling people doing counseling <laughs> and then all of a sudden i'm like oh my god um we actually have to talk to people it's like the first couple of months i got i felt um i felt actual anxiety which reminded me of when i first got started in um the counseling field like as an intern where i'd be sitting there like like oh what am i gonna say um and it felt really uncomfortable for a bit there it was really <laughs> interesting so, so was your anxiety bad enough that you you yourself had to seek therapy for it? No, <laughs> it'd be like a inception who, therapy. Who gives thing. the therapist therapy? <laughs> who gives the therapist therapy? It takes it to, honestly. It takes a special person to provide a counselor or counseling because you um it, you know all the tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and so and so it, they have to be really good at, at being able to um counsel a counselor I, I don't know i think it's a i think it's an uncommon skill so i want i want to know i want to go back to your, <laughs> your reference to cold calling people so do you what are you like you know right dialing random numbers and going hey, hey would you um, like therapy to the head of the household <laughs> yeah are you are you feeling you know any of the following symptoms is that what you're doing you're just like going out and cold calling for business well here, um, the irony of it is like you know uh, and, and this is true of, of most people who are receiving counseling you have a um if, if you're not receiving a call uh, like a card or a text message reminding you of counseling even if i scheduled with you the previous week you probably forgot about our session so a lot of times i'll call people and i'll be like hey it's brent and they'll be like oh 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 yeah <laughs> all right i'm <laughs> i'm mentally so stressed and they're like oh yeah yeah i, I remembered it and you can tell that like <laughs> meanwhile you hear like the grocery store behind them it's like can i call you in five minutes yeah. <laughs> what are you, is that distracting you're not allowed to like hey, go to therapy while you're you're shopping Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not supposed to because, you know, HIPAA and all that silly stuff. So I usually just say, hey, like, how long is it going to take you to get out of that um, non-private environment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you're in a non-private setting. So how like how long is it going to take you to get out of that? They're like, um, <laughs> I'm just buying some new sharp knives is all. It won't take long. <laughs> some knives. <okay. laughs> so, some rat poison and some, you know fertilizer i was thinking about making tea for bleach. my neighbor <laughs> out, of, out, out of bleach yeah it's it works mm. better when when the therapist is in the grocery store oh that's I hilarious no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta say the way you described your office sounds like the opening to a steven soderbergh film i mean i can just see the panning in and the yes yes i'm here can just, i get a pound of swami yeah, I want to hear more about that. Hold on. Yeah, um, in a half a pound of neck, thanks. Thin. Okay, it's you like, yeah, tell me more. Actually, exactly. get a little thinner than that. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a pound uh, on a pound, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, people try. People try. They'll be, the, especially people in like IOP groups, like, you know, intensive outpatient therapy. They'll, they'll, they'll try to multitask and 
and and, and so they'll be like in, in like Dollar General trying to do things while they're <laughs> on group. Aw, <laughs> man, that's just wrong. <laughs> Dollar General. Yeah, Dollar been- General is like a mini Walmart. Mm-hmm. Like they have Dollar General is like a shitty Walgreens. I think <laughs> working through your trauma is not a multitasking task. Like working through trauma is not like multitasking. Like, it just doesn't. Yeah. It's I a life skill, Dan. I almost Pardon? need therapy when I go to it's a, a life Dollar skill. General. Yeah. <laughs> you need therapy every Friday. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> It's like our that's like our go-to stop on the way to Youngstown for like drinks and snacks. Like Dollar Let's just say that if you're, if you're locked into a group uh, because uh, your probation officer made you do it, or you have a DUI, your investment in the process may not be as um, active as somebody who came for. Uh, <laughs> that was some great professional speak right there, Brent. I like that line. I love how you're trying to maintain a professional aspect that's where like totally <laughs> gotta get a pound of salami uh how are you how does that make you feel yeah. how does that make you feel <laughs> <laughs> i digress My he's, used to, he's used to this <laughs> so things have been going good I, I'm, I'm glad to be back to feeling a little bit normal i hope, I hope it, it, it's getting there for you guys too for sure that's good though yeah i'm excited to play this actually and this is back to the normal characters too so i think that'll be fun real excited It'd be awesome. <laughs> Maybe something like that. I don't know. Maybe awesome. I gotta get my notes. Get my notes. Yeah, there's probably there's probably so much to consider. What are like, you guys were notes? supposed to go to Ring like you know nine episodes ago. I mean, I mean <laughs> yeah. nine nine small tiny partial episodes ago. Uh, not, a nice somebody somebody put us into like a 1940s uh, section for like three weeks. Yeah, I know who that was. That was you. Guys. No fucking idea who that could have been. That was you guys who did that. We definitely <laughs> because you wouldn't listen to the Nazi. I mean, I mean, you say that Jews didn't listen to the Nazis, and it kind of worked out for them. I gotta say, I'm glad I didn't miss the the 1940 interlude. I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, I did too. I did too. And all. That was great. I, I, I like. I, I did like your character in that one. Funny, real funny. For now, I, I have to say that this campaign, I have played the most straight laced character for the longest amount of time in my entire life. This is like, oh, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I, I plan to bring back a little German every now and again. I think maybe like Johnny's <laughs> mind got flashback. melded a little bit with his uh, his German counterpart. Just a little German. Yeah, that's right. Well, just a little German. German. All right. All right. Now we're going to watch Byron flip through binders. Yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to open a page here. That's all. And we have 10 minutes to play. That's right. <laughs> what is it? And scene. Yeah. <laughs> and scene. Thank God that's over. I mean, I don't need to look at it. I'm not going to use that anymore. All right, so where we last left off, uh, you guys had come out of your, whatever you want to call it, trance, coma, fight for your lives, stasis, uh, (laughs) backlog of current events type deal, or however reason that you actually managed to go there uh, after you read the manuscript and so forth, uh, and you were awoken uh, of course, uh, Dr. Mitchell uh, w- awoken to her favorite friend, Ryzen, who was uh, <laughs> leaning over her and, uh, you know, excited to see the ladies back uh, while Lily basically slipped her bonds and attempted to possibly kill him with a syringe. Um, I and, didn't know uh, such thing. I just slipped my bonds. You, you thought about it, though. I mean, death is always on the mind. Yep. Where you met your other friend, good old Elizabeth Bathory. Elspeth. And, uh, you know, she reminded you guys that, uh, you know, you're on the same team. Uh, Of course, you saw that she was uh, bringing uh, Sigmund Walter back to some sort of put-togetherness. Maybe trying to put his head back on, I guess. I mean, it's his fault he lost it. 
Maybe. Yeah, could be. He was just answering your questions. You just didn't like his answer. I just gave him a response. <laughs> he didn't like my response as much as I didn't like his answers. And honestly, it's a nicer response than I've seen her give others. So, really. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fact. Yeah. That's fact. That is true. And uh, then you uh, were introduced to another uh, lady uh, who goes by... Uh, I think it's oh, the lady in the night. I just forgot it. Literally just escaped my brain. The Hound. She was known as the Hound. Which you guys Nobody. had some experience with that nickname. Uh, whether or not we remembered last time or not here. Uh, Bro, is my name. And she was uh, one of the ladies that you saw at the helicopter in Salard you know, in the very beginning. Oh, turned to water. Uh, yeah. No, not not her. Oh. Okay. But she was the one that was like when the black helicopter showed up to get the sarcophagus and stuff like that. Oh. She was, she was there. Ooh, that was episode number one. Yeah, 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 it was way back, right? That was with the drone. Back mm -hmm. when we could have those. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Back when there was drones. Yeah. Back before they were uninvented. That was all like two thousand something. The good old days. <laughs> the good old days. <laughs> drones are drones, bombs are bombs, and storylines end with a boom. Right. Uh and you do uh, oh, remember God. you do remember seeing her uh one other time. Uh after getting a really good look at her in the light and stuff like that. And that was Henley uh, actually remembered seeing her one time that he visited uh, Piotr at uh, in um, Cyp was it Cyprus where you guys went? God, I don't even remember. Um, uh, that's where we start off, yeah. We've been all over the place. We're hanging out in Cyprus. Cyprus. Oh, wow. uh, Oh, oh, okay. the, where the yacht was? No, no, it was way back sooner than that. I think it was Marrakesh, where you guys got smuggled in from Sardinia. You guys saw the uh, Petra Solovinsky, your Interpol guy that you knew. Do you remember him way back? Oh, was this the market where we met the lizard guy? Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. So way back. So she was connected to Peter Solovinsky also. So you get the idea, obviously, that uh, Edom has been connected to a lot of different things that you guys have been involved in, even though, um, so a lot of the people that you reported to, a lot of the people that you were using as contacts, uh, so forth, all had connections to Edom in some way, shape, or form. Um, whether they knew it or not, you're not sure. Uh, because Dr. Dawes also was uh, was there, remember, and uh, which was yeah, yeah. Sigmund Walter. Oh. Or no, I'm sorry, that was Sigmund Walter. That was uh, that was John Dawes, M.D., who was the um, guy who the hematologist at the WHO that Dr. Mitchell had sent the serum and so forth and you guys went to his office Geneva and all that stuff all that fun so to rehash a little bit of those things uh and so forth and um so what is your plan you guys uh met with the hound um have you thought of any questions or anything you wanted to Elsbit has uh kind of uh disappeared at this point and she's taken uh, Sigmund Walter's body with her. Are we still strapped uh, to tables, or are we? No, you're not strapped to tables, but you guys are still there. Okay. Uh, you guys okay. are still at that particular location, um, and so she had invited you to ring um, the Hound did to uh, further your knowledge and realize that you guys are kind of on the same side, and that you guys need to stop fucking their shit up. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. 
how long how many days have we been here or has it just been like hours you're not sure how long you've actually been here but just hours from the time you've been um do we have rooms are we wearing like where are we do we have our possessions or are we yeah you have your stuff okay so not like uh, an assless hospital gowns or something like that right mm -hmm. wandering around no Nope, you guys are still in the same clothes you were wearing when you guys passed out. Or somehow put back to 1948. I, I Evan would sort of, to the hound, or, or really even uh, the mistress, right? So is there like a... Is there like an orientation manual for new employees that you give out or something that really would lay it all out for us? <laughs> because... It's a twisted fucking lot you've got going on here. This is not, unfortunately, uh, no. It doesn't seem to be any kind of, uh, you know, manual. You know, these uh, these goings on have been uh, going on for quite uh, some time. Yeah, so about that. My friends are probably going to keep trying to blow you up, right? And, and, and... And that's just how the way of it, unless we've got some clear direction as to what we are and are not supposed to blow up, Tesla's going to blow it up. It's what he does. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, sorry, Tesla. I didn't realize you were there. No, he's a great chap. Great. He's tall, too. Hmm. I have to say, blowing things up technically is not against the manual. So I think you're well within your bounds, Tesla, if you can. Is there even an HR department here? No. No. Okay. No HR department. Not very organized for an organization. Mm, we don't really care about people's feelings or, you know, things like that. So. Us either. Hmm. So the last medical program you had was the Nazi era. Interesting. No. Well, hmm. Please tell us, is there like a, a library here or a place that we could perhaps do some research? We have resources. Are um, there particular things you want to know? Everything, honestly. There's so much mm -hmm. that, 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 that we need. There's much. She says, I do have to ask. Um, I believe that one of you may have taken something and uh, we need to secure it before we have any kind of chat. He says, uh, do you happen to remember a brooch? Oh. Whoa. In small, a small black brooch. Made of some sort of stone. Nah. Silver. Mm. Look, look something like this. Well, oh, I guess not even gonna work. <laughs> oh, no, you filter. got your little filter on. So I got my filter on. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, we got it for a second. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's lovely. Uh, yeah. It's nice. In fact, we're going to need to take care of that before we can have any kind of real discussion. I see. Is it dangerous? Again, before we can have any kind of real discussion, <laughs> well, we're going to need to secure that item. So, whichever one of you has it, I need you to place it in this box. And she pulls out this uh, kind of lead box with some engraving and stuff on it and a language that you get out. I, I, I look very surprised at the lead box. I'm like, is this thing radioactive or something? You're doing that thing again where you act like we trust you. I think you should stop that. Because again, we don't. <laughs> so Again... Should we secure this item, I can be a little more forthcoming with answers. All right, all right. Listen, so... You can keep the item. Oh, you're going to give me the box. I don't actually have the brooch anyway. I'm just being difficult, to be well, honest. Then you don't need the box. Yeah. Fair. I mean, we were unconscious when we came here. I'm I'm assuming you went through all our possessions. Prison yeah. pocket. We're not thieves. Is oh. one of us supposed to have this? I don't, I don't even... Oh, yeah, out of character. Okay. Yeah, out of care. Do we have this? We have yeah, it. We did have yeah. it. I know that. Yeah, right. you got it. Yeah, we, we do. We do. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what you did with it. I don't remember. I know. Did we leave it at a hideout? Do we care? I don't I mean, I don't, I'm not caring. I don't remember. We'll, we'll put this brooch we supposedly oh, have in the box. Yeah. Was, I don't was, care. Was this brooch when we were in uh, Romania? 
Uh, nope, you guys stole it when you were at the oil platform. The the oil platform. Um. All right. Well, who it, it, it would the person who would know where it is would be the person who found it. So. Whoa! Whoa. No way. <laughs> It, I, I think we were all split up. I don't think I was there when you guys found it. I definitely was unconscious, so I don't have yeah. it. <laughs> I, I so that kind of leaves me and Evan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. I've got it right here. Oh, oh. oh, oh it's, it was in the prison wallet. No, oh, it's not what you think. I've got it. No, it's just a pouch that I keep my you know, drugs in. Um. Yeah, I, I, okay. I produce the brooch, and uh, okay. I say, how about she, this? She, she produces the box. I, I reach out for the box. She reaches the box. I put the brooch in the box. Is there a lid? Mm-hmm. Does, it, does there a scream or just so like it's, a light shoot? It's out? like a weird lid. It's like a weird lid that like closes like from the sides and then slides together Ooh. from the corners of the box. It's kind of weird puzzle box thing. All right, I, I close it. So I'll get the keys. Now, the 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 uh, it's a kid. Yes, it is very dangerous. <laughs> it's not so much as dangerous as what it itself can do, but what those who are attached to it can do. So they can monitor us says, through it. The brooch was given to Lucy Weston, eh? by a particular individual, whom we see. Ah. I can fill in the blank there. Can it Is help it like us? like a mystical microphone? We shall call him D, for short. The big D. Is there a reason when you can't say his name? Oh, we could say his name. I'm, I'm uh, not saying I, Especially now that the brooch is a kid. Count Chocula, then. <laughs> so it is like a mystical microphone. It's somewhat, yes. It, it, there is a connection between the brooch and... And, and Dracula. She says he that. gave it to Lucy Westerner. So can we use it to help find him, given the mystical connection? Possibly. There was some sort of of thought that the connection between the brooch and and Lucy could be used. Mm-hmm. Could he be able to be found? Is he able? Does he know the location of the brooch, or just? hears things through it. Do you know? I did not know exactly. We've been unable to find Lucy to prove our theories. We do know that according to the original reports that, you know, she was able to see where he was through the fact when she was turned. Oh. So, a person who's consumed vampire blood, I look at Evan, um, and who carries the brooch, is sort of like an antenna, perhaps? Like Lucy in her condition, when she was... Dosed. Except for the blood that, that that Evan has consumed is not Dracula's. Hmm. But is a descendant of Dracula's? No. They're, they're unrelated, Wait. what I understand. Right, that uh, means... that means Elsbeth is not kill him. Linea Dracula. Hmm. Mm. Was the the vampire at the uh, oil rig a descendant of Dracul? He was, but unfortunately, before we could do any testing, he met an <laughs> untimely fate. <laughs> uh, this goes back to what I was telling you about Tesla. If he doesn't have explicit instructions not to blow something up, it's going to be blown mm. up. Mm. I consider myself to be a, to be a humanist. As in, I'm on the side of humans, and I'm not so much on their side. Well, Tesla, in all fairness, you're on the side of humans, but you also love to blow things up. So it's a win-win for you, I think. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I mean, that is fair. Mm. But so, Dracula oh, must be brought to heal. Mm. Um, Dracula must be brought to heal? Yes, before any more damage can be wrought. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is he is he controllable? Under, under what circumstances well, would he be controllable? We have thought before he was controllable. Unfortunately, we were proven incorrect. Oh, I like you. I like you. And what sort of mischief so is he up to? 
that you're worried um, about? I'm sorry? What sort of mischief is he up to that you're worried about? Precisely. Manipulating the world. Hmm. That's all? <laughs> That's all. Hmm. Hasn't he been free for over a hundred years? He goes in cycles. At least that's what we've been able to determine over the Is years. he on a heavy flow this, this month? <laughs> <laughs> our, our last connection of where we thought we might be able to track him down was when you met Harker. Unfortunately, Harker met in Grizzly Fate, as you well know. I mean, that fall probably didn't feel very good. When you said he goes through cycles, he goes torpor, like in the earth, he goes missing for We're not 20 exactly years? sure. There is some sort of connection between the earth and the Telerik fields and this form of vampirism that affects these individuals. Do you have a plan for taking him out? Yes. Good. Uh, I'm guessing we're, we're not we're not made privy to that until we earn trust. I'm guessing. I would offer Tesla's oh. probably best. We don't know, but uh, yeah, maybe a little bit of that. Mm. So the tell I, uh, So I, I just want to make sure uh, not to. I just want to paraphrase a little bit. So what you're saying is he. We know he's active. We know that Lucy is likely well we don't know if lucy's active <laughs> but but we 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 know that lucy is not is no friend to, to dracula because of the the history from from the book a, a great deal of it is actually accurate at least as far as their relationship <laughs> unless you think that lucy is in fact still enthralled by dracula i believe she's controlled by him ah okay good to be active ah all right may i ask do we have a role in this plan is there a sort of saying that we should you absolutely have a role in this plan do tell you are the plan oh good (laughs) we are the plan that feels like that that feels like bait I don't think yeah. I want to be bait. Uh, well, would you I like mean, to elaborate? Well, you guys have select skills that have been able to infiltrate and find many things. Unfortunately, you lack direction. And with a little bit of nudging in the right way, I think you could fulfill what is necessary. And you've proven to be pretty much on the path. Can I ask something? The telluric fields that you're talking about are magnetic. Is that why the certain vampire blood responds to magnets and others don't? Would that be an indication that they are? We believe so. We believe depending on how far descended they are from the linea as to exactly the level of magnetism in the blood. So... Mm. Is there a way to interrupt? Do they require a connection to these currents? Is there a way that Tesla could rig something up to sever that connection and render them? It's doubtful that you could sever the Earth's connection to its telluric fields. No, their connection to the Earth's (laughs) telluric fields. I mean, should we somehow take them into space or something like that? When you say it like that. (laughs) It's possible, I suppose, but... Hmm. I mean, you could bring people back to life and give them armor. So, what can't you do? Oh, apparently so far, successfully hunt Dracula. Mm. Think about a Faraday but... cage or a, something of the nature, right? That, that would interrupt an individual's ability to connect to the fields whilst still on Earth. That was one of the things we were testing at uh, on the... Uh, rig. Oops. Persephone. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, finding a Lunia Dracula vampire is much more difficult than you might think. And unfortunately, the last time we were able to do so, well, 
We all know how that ended. Mm. I believe his body is somewhere at the bottom of the North Sea in bits and pieces. Hmm. Well, I think. So, I mean, pretty much the way I see it is, uh, uh, you have debt. You have debt. You owe me a linear Dracula vampire. Do you have a lead on where we might well, find one then? Address book, maybe. Exactly. Pop over to the store and pick one up, perhaps. Your MySpace mm, friends perhaps. or anything? Should it be well, that let easy? Me, let me slide down to the corner store and grab one for you real quick. Mm -hmm. So there is one such that I believe we have resources that will allow us to find. However, it will require some interesting thoughts, I'm sure, to make it happen. All that right. Is the one we know is Lilith. Um, so we're not talking. Uh, that's. I'm assuming that's a pseudonym, not a. Uh, not literal. Presumably. Uh, well, I mean that depends on your perspective of history. I'm sure. But <laughs> Elsbit has promised resources to help us find them. And. Sorry. As well, I believe she has mentioned that you have some, well, not necessarily promises, but agreements to help in that task. Yeah. We've been trying to ascertain who was the bigger, biggest threat. I mean, Elsbeth, I guess, works with us, but you get, but what you're saying is that is that her particular lineage has no intention of trying to, I don't know, subsume humanity as a whole she's perfectly fine doing her minor bloodletting in her own little section of the world is that something she's content with i believe that elspeth and dracula are from similar families hmm. let's call her a cousin to dracula hmm. so similar but different enough they are both very old are they antediluvian? Older than that. So this might be the Lilith of the, the real Lilith, the original Lilith. It's possible. We've been unable to exactly track that down. And Dracul himself is that ancient. You don't know his exact birth year, but you know that he is over... Well, I'm assuming know. I'm assuming the that you you were able to examine the carvings and the things that were found in Salard when we unearthed the other one. Yeah, would you mind refreshing our memory as to what we saw in the carvings? So those were Knights of the Crusades right. that were praying to these creatures, to that creature or creatures of his type. We don't know if that was exactly him or not, but that's some time ago. Yeah, wasn't there the, a alien? The arrival was before that. Oh right. Then it's unsure. They may oh. have leapfrogged through time. Sleeping, active. Sleeping, active. Sleeping, active. Our we do little... know. We do know that Carmilla operated in very similar cycles are lilith and dracula working together do you know this i believe lilith proposes to be his lover interesting so finding one could result in finding the other i mean it technically means it's a weak spot too i mean if he i mean if he even cares about another person she might be it well Maybe. our theory our theory is twofold. One is that that, Elis that Lilith proposes to be Dracula's lover. Elspeth despises Lilith. Mm, jealous. So whether or not Elspeth can be trusted past the removal of Lilith remains to be seen. So, is it possible Lilith is Dracula's progenitor? 
highly unlikely. I, I mean, he doesn't highly seem unlikely. And is it likely that Lilith then is Dracula's her progenitor? Or is it known that that it's more possible because we have heard reports and what little few sightings and stuff that we have had with Lilith is that she does portray or at least exhibit some of very similar to Linnea Dracula. So, uh, so we retrieve this Lilith without destroying her completely, and that will give us an angle to find Dracula. Um, we d well, we do know that Dracula does have a lover, or did, and that was Lucy. Mm, but we don't know where Lucy is anyway, so we know where Lilith is. So, so you'd like us to find either Lucy or Lilith. Does L yes, Lilith have any known uh, weaknesses? I mean, it, it, if you've reviewed our, our progress so far, the only real, you know, I guess saving grace for us has been Tesla's explosives. We're not going to tie her up and bring her in. Right. Well, we do know from Dr. Van Helsing's work that, you know, um, garlic and communion wafers and holy items do have an effect. Uh, he has the ability to manipulate them to not be as powerful and as effective as they would need to be. However, um, you know, there are things that can be done to bring him to heal. So garlic knots and croutons of Christ. He cannot... <laughs> The garlic and croutons of Christ. Mm. Is the thing true about? Uh, is it true that, um, like, so with the communion wafer, even even if we were to, to to use it, we would have to find a way to restrain her. What's going to what, what's going to work in that respect? It's a stake in the heart. Yes, we're very good at entirely blowing up vampires. We're not very good at. Almost blowing up vampires. Two, <laughs> we'd like to subdue them. How do we do that? Uh, find them at the weakest states. Sunlight is not something that they are very good at. With are they susceptible sure. to drugs? Like if we were to lace a addict with opium, and Lilith were to drink them, would she be overwhelmed? That's a really interesting idea, Johnny. That is an interesting idea. <laughs> Is he looking at me uh, when I, he says that, just on the off chance? <laughs> I totally don't look at Evan at all. <laughs> <laughs> None of us do. Yeah. None of us do. Like... I'm thinking, where are we going to find a, an addict? Uh, <laughs> I mean... Of course, Lily, you're right. You're right, Lily. It's impossible. I mean, yeah. an addict... Who is so used to their drug that it couldn't possibly wipe them out? While someone like Lilith, who never took it before, would be entirely waylaid by the intensity of the injected drug. That would be. Where would we find such a person? Mm. Although we all know Evan, out of character, is like addicted to Street Scarlet, which is. I mean, do you do other drugs? Does, do we know if Evan does other drugs besides Street Scarlet? I believe he, he mentioned doing cocaine. <laughs> At one point, well, I I'm mean, not that's ninety percent yeah. sure. W only when I'm tired, though. So, you know. So, uh, so like, <laughs> we do think that uh, affecting magnetic fields may have a effect. Unfortunately, we've been unable to test that mm. uh, due to the fact that we have been able to run an experiment. Uh, to do so. We, um, we 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 get her. We can start trying to test that well it might help us yeah. slow it down somehow if you could come up with some sort of electromagnetic weapon you know well it's either going to enhance or oh or, oh. or bring her down the problem is we may not know until we do it <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something uh, we would little, try doesn't it we're, we're, we're a bit worried about it if it's option one <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I I found that that experimentation. We better stick with something that's tried and true. Um, well, so, but if if we if we would try the magnetic field manipulation, 
and it enhanced her, we believe that a polarity reversal would have the other effect. Right. So if there's one thing I, I, I've learned it is uh, it, it, from, our, from our flashback, if you don't mind me talking about this, we, uh, we, we, when, when we were shadowing the bodies of those other people, it's like their their big failing was they went from room to room in in that big castle fighting off her minions, and she had many different avenues of escape during the entire process. So if we know that she's going to be in a static location, it's like why don't we just go in hard in the beginning, and then and and, and then mop up the rest. In other words, why don't we just blow up most of the building? <laughs> Um, that way. Yes. Well, in the in in the nineteen forties, Edom didn't realize that that they had such a connection to the intelligence community, and that they were ahead of the game. She was warned before the Edom team ever got there. Protected by the Yanks, in some ways. Hmm. Uh, it, it, it was my presumption that she had a connection to her servants and, and and when they made the mistake of engaging her servants she immediately recognized that and and acted on it that actually that framework gives a little bit more because because my my concern is that is that actual stealth and getting close to her would be impossible because her servants would get in the way and then we would have, and then and then it would tip her off, and then we'd be fighting her in a dark basement. Mm-hmm. You know, we we need to use the sunlight to our advantage if we can. We did also have some effect with uh, Doctor uh, um, Doctor Dawes from the World Health Organization was doing some research using blood thinners <laughs> to affect their bloodline, and it so seems. An addict. It so, seems like if we could weaken their blood or thin it, it would actually cause them to be disoriented and weakened. Mm. So a combination of magnetic field, sunlight, blood thinners, hopefully these items in conjunction would work. You but mentioned- again, we need to run some more thorough experiments before we try it. You don't want to go after Dracula with an, the plan not fully in place. Well, not Dracula, yeah. but Lilith doesn't seem like she's exactly going to be a cup of tea either. So we, we're going to have to try something if we're going to bring her in, right? Fact. So the Rovere Zagani, Ryzen, and some of his colleagues have been tracking two vampires that are active in the Ukraine. One of which I believe and or Tesla knows. You mean, you, you mean that teenager? Well, he was a teenager at one point. He's more powerful now. <laughs> Your partner probably remembers him, or at least what was left at the top of the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, it's like the, that, that's the one we're going to bring in alive and we're going to do lots of experiments on him. We believe we believe that he is descended of Lilith. Um, you said two. Are they working? Are they in cahoots or something? Or are they operating separately? We're not exactly certain. Ah, all right. How powerful are these two vampires? Mm, well, the one that we last had contact with they've been involved in quite a few arms deals of black market affairs uh, things of that nature that sounds like Um, a way in there was a bank vault that the entire door was ripped off the hinges and not not an easy to break in bank vault Hmm. i think she's referring to the bank vault that we broke into or is a different bank vault no No, this is one you guys would have a lot more difficult to break into. Well, so we wish to capture this descendant of Lilith um, in hopes of doing experiments and perhaps 
your magnetic fields. If a magnetic fields enhancer Tesla, then perhaps a Degaussian field. Well, if it, would we know that this, we know that these vampires, at least one of them, the male for certain, is descended of Lilith. If Lilith is Linnea Dracula, as we believe, then they should exhibit same symptoms as she Same would. symptoms. So we could hypothesize that if the magnetic fields and things completely stop these vampires, they would have an effect on Lilith and even Dracula. Yeah. We may need to scale them up, make them more powerful. But the physics behind it would be true, and the science behind it would be mm -hmm. true. Because if it, if it can affect that bloodline, then it should it should be transferable even right. to the older ones, at least yes. to a degree. We do know that Elsbeth is not Linnea Dracula. There have been convinced there have been science experiments that have proven that she has attempted to help in some ways. Again, with with the things that Dracula has done over the centuries to double cross the teams we wonder how loyal she really is and ju yeah just to underscore you mentioned before that she might not be much use beyond uh the capturing or or whatever of lilith so we've got to be mindful of that right well the theory the theory would be that she wishes to replace lilith in dracula's personal circle so Evan would lean well, in. What, what's he have? Well, what's he have? Like some kind of magic dick or something? <laughs> he keeps it in a All jar. these ladies, I'm not sure. sure. Evan would lean in. He has total control of his own blood. So, so problem it, beyond that is severing our connection with Lilith. Yeah, given I was just about to sort of say, I kind of look. Or around. not Lilith, uh, Elizabeth. Elspeth knows. Well, what's Elizabeth, on my if mind. she were, to, if she, if she is to betray us. Hmm. Oh, and why do we have a connection to Elizabeth? I don't know. Uh, I that's, that's, that's How did that happen? I was thirsty. So, Director, I, I would kind of lean in and, and just say uh, to to uh, to her, just so, is it safe for me to be in the room given my bond with Elizabeth? I mean, she reads my mind like a book. Is she aware of this conversation, do you think? Very small book. Maybe a small book. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? I, I wink and lean back in my chair. Well, I mean, it's not like we're... It, 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 it's, not, it's not like we're even talking about betrayal. We're just talking about intentions. And how we shouldn't trust her. What's her intentions? Yeah. Well, if, if Dracula is in love with Lucy, but Lilith is in love with Dracula, there is already contention. Elsbeth is envious of Dracula, correct? Just envious. From a we don't even know what her goal is. We don't know. Maybe she wishes to clear the field of other potential mates and have Dracula all to herself? That is possible. This is That's getting so her. weird. <laughs> well... I think we should focus on the tactical. It sounds like uh, oh. that Yvena Vignoni, who knows the team vampire, if we were to take um, perhaps some magnetic guns uh, that Tesla could create, and maybe a couple of with a degauss flip mode in case the the actual <laughs> magnetic field is what strengthens her, a gaussing field then would actually scramble her with some dart guns loaded with blood thinners, uh, elephant strength. So that the moment she's held for a second, we could shoot her. Oh, or him. I'm sorry. We need, we need to test all this, though. We don't know if it, it's going to work. I mean, no, well, we that's experimental equipment. Well, that would be the test, though, is on uh, the teen vampire, who is Lilith's uh, descendant, right? If it works on them, then we'll know. Yeah, I, I mean, I say we go conventional with getting him. Um, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking high-powered weapons armor piercing 
I agree with Something Johnny though, Tesla. Like if massive flesh damage without without completely destroying him. I think our first try has got to be what Johnny recommends because we won't know otherwise. I mean, in worst case, scenario, I mean, you end up killing. Him. Once we catch, capture him, lock him in a cage, and then start poking at him and prodding at him. If he's ripping open bank we'll vaults, we'll if he's got the power to rip open a bank well, vault. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, what if he has celerity? I mean, it's going to be very difficult to shoot such a thing with a dart gun. That's why I was recommending the prototypes with the magnetic guns to see if it makes him hesitate for a second, so that we can shoot him. Uh, I'm like, okay, raise your hand if you want to. If you if you want to walk into a vampire fight with an experimental weapon, go ahead, anyone. I didn't say I only. Mean, isn't okay. that already what you guys do? Yeah. Not anymore. I mean, days are done. Not I'm not saying this is an either or. I think that we lead with that, right? And then the rest of us are, are properly armed, as you describe, so that when we do slow him down, I mean, remember the one that we encountered? We started shooting, and he's just darting all over the place. None of us hit him, and we're all dead eyes. We've got to slow it down. That's true. We feed him some uh, Papa <laughs> John's garlic butter. I have another suggestion. Okay. Well, before we met Elsbeth the first time, you and I wore explosive vests. What if instead you rigged capacitors for an immediate, intense magnetic field on each of us? So instead of blowing ourselves up, if one of us gets caught and it starts to get drained, we can fire it like a, um, what is that thing they use to blow away electronic equipment? EMP. Essentially a powerful magnetic field. EMP. EMP. Or, you know, the radius of five feet. So instead of destroying the vampire and destroying ourselves, as a last dish effort, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you like Tesla, you could also equip us all with a second button with some C4. But I would be advise everyone to be very careful which button you push. Yeah, I think what I'll do. Actually, I, I agree with you, John. This that's not a bad idea. I could try to. It's like show me your research on the electromagnetic things, the, the magnetic fields. I'll try to see if I can make some kind of uh, some, some kind of like final answer if, if if we can't do anything else i'm glad you didn't say final solution i i honestly i actually was about to say final solution and then i stopped i'm like byron said it first so <laughs> you're on the hook <laughs> so um just coming up with a um an emergency approach i think that's smart johnny i think that's better than somebody walking in with a gun that's not going to work and then having to toss it down and pull out a secondary weapon um so yeah yeah why not we'll go with that i mean the only other thing is is uh you were saying d d i'll ask the uh, director do stakes work if you get them into their heart does it kill them instantly uh, in general we do know that van helsing believed that that would work <laughs> yeah, that was some of the earliest Mm -hmm. All right. Is the fact does it have to be rowan wood or can it be made of any material? Rowan wood would probably work. We've got to I'm be sorry, cautious that, not to kill I it. I do believe that it has a more uh, distinct use. Okay, so rowan wood is preferable, but it, per Tesla's question, it immobilizes them or kills them? Through the heart, it would slow them down and stop them. Oh, that's perfect. Wait, wait, wait. It would kill them or no? It, it stops them. Decapitation should kill them for sure. But we don't want to do that, so... Hmm. Not a, not initially, no. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking what we come in with. Okay. Well, I had a thought on that. You yeah. know, um, Sigmund Walter's research is, should be available to us here. Sigmund Walter can live without his body. If we do need to decapitate the vampire, is it possible to come up with a serum that we could inject the vampire with so that decapitation would simply immobilize him? Then we could experiment on his then, his uh, <laughs> incapacitated body, so to speak. I am afraid the air Walther is his own creation between experimentation with the Nazi vampire program and then what happened to him later in life. Has led him to a very unique situation, a, a rather unique state of being. Yes. Um, 
He is neither vampire nor ghoul. So what what I'm thinking is some of us should have weapons that do maximum flesh damage. We need some like like shotguns with flechette rounds. Something, something that's really gonna tear huge chunks of flesh off them. And, and, and we go and we go for and we try to shoot legs, arms, anything to slow him down, and then somebody gets on him and pounds that stake into his chest. Do we abandon the idea of the magnet? I mean, I mean, we'll have the. I can make some vests, but the the vests are going to be emergency only. It's like I just think that we probably got to go with with guns that are just going to do mass flesh damage. Like, hey, if we blow off his arm, that's one less arm he can use to, to rip our off with. Yeah, uh, based on the fight at the oil rig, the only time these vampires seem to stop is when they're draining blood. So I think we should all be prepared for the fact that the vests might be. Uh, uh, use the moment one of us starts to get drained and then the rest of us should definitely have i would offer syringes of blood thinner or dart guns of blood thinner in which to pump him full because as a uh, lady the hound said the blood thinners will disorient the vampires in theory uh hound is that theory or have you tested the blood thinner we have been aid, unable to test it, but there was some, at least on a on a live specimen, overdose of it on the blood itself. Thor. <laughs> I mean, if somebody wants to try to use the the blood thinner, but you're literally taking your 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 life into your own hands, him with trank darts instead of firearms. Well, I don't think it's instead of. I think that there are there are enough of us that if he's engaged, as Johnny described, in any way. Perhaps one of us can get the blood thinner pumped into him, like a massive overdose of heparin or something, right? And then, well, I, mean, I mean, yeah. I, if somebody wants to try that, why not? I think we I, should I see all, any reason not to. Yeah, we should all outfit ourselves with those things. And um, th there's there's just something that sticks with her commentary about the magnet bit. It just. I think we're onto something there. And if we slow him down, then we can. We, it'll be slow enough that we can get the blood thinners into him and blow his legs off. But if he if he moves the least bit, and you know this vampire, does he move quickly? He kill, you know, he obviously killed your oh, partner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I mean, basically, he caught a, he caught up to a moving car. Uh, it, well, was on the back of it and then ripped the entire roof off and then ripped off my partner's head right after. Polarity, super strength. We'll never restrain him with physical restraints. It's going to have to be chemical or energy. Right. Um, I, 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 think, I, I think it's just a matter of what's our threshold for being guinea pigs of experimental stuff. Like, literally, we'd be like, all right, you know, let, let, let's pull out a bunch of experimental shit instead of going with, going with modern conventional weaponry. I, you know, it, 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 I, think, I think it could be catastrophic if we come in with a bunch of experimental stuff and we don't. No, only if we like. Who knows? It might be an electromagnetic frequency that we we don't even know what it is. We're gonna just take guesswork from it, you know. That's where you come in, though, um, with your engineering talent. I mean, I, I, that that that's fine, but I, I we've never had any any contact with one of these long enough to see them. Well, th this is the issue, Tesla. All of the center technologies that we use are very effective at stopping vampires completely. It's fairly difficult, so far at least, to stop them almost and keep them intact. This is the issue. I mean, if our normal mode would be to pack plastique, and should one of us start to get drained and about to die, they, we could blow ourselves up, somewhat like on the oil rig, although Lily survived, thank goodness. But this is the issue. We must figure out some way in which to capture this teen vampire, who is super fast, Super strong, relatively immortal, and experimental seems to be the only option. We could shoot him what, up. What can Ring provide us with? Mm. Mm. What, what experience have they done? Yeah. Did they have anything that'll work? Well, we were, we were getting to that. And then some people kind of came along and... <laughs> 
not involved in our plans. Well, I think they're theoretical. And you've been able, you've been able to give people regeneration abilities, the ability to have subdermal armor under their skin. What else have you actually succeeded at? The sewage serum is unique. It does have its own things. But that does not make it vampire quality. Well, as far what as... about and the specimen? The specimen that the sewer serum is used on must be of high quality. Mm-hmm. It, uh, you have kind of inspired me for a moment, Johnny. What, what if we tried to do things like? Uh, uh, what if we tried to do uh, to do less than lethal, um, like riot control gear? <laughs> now, now follow me on this. So flashbang grenade. So like, what if we use like flashbang grenades, um, like like uh, tasers and shit like that? You think that would make a difference? If I was going to create a flashbang grenade for a vampire, I would offer that I would adjust it so that it's very bright and flashes through the UV range so that it covers the spectrum of normal sunlight into what is beyond the human eye. I tried something similar. It did seem to, it did seem to blind. Actually, I was going to say, Byron, did it, did it, didn't the flashbang I threw in seem to slow it down a little bit? Or it blinded I, it. It did blind it. If we can blind it, and then come and then come in with the rest, either the shotguns or like, or like I don't know, mace. We could try like the worst bear mace we could concoct. And but try we to- know that this line's susceptible to garlic. Is it possible to isolate the volatile aspect of garlic into a chemical form that would make any of us fall to our knees? Eh, I mean, and, and, and even up at a few levels. So yeah, we could go with like. Um, we could even use like paintball guns. Paintball. They actually in real in real life and, and they actually have paintball guns that are yeah. are basically mace paintball Pe- yeah, guns. Pepper pepper balls. They're pepper balls. Pepper, pepper balls. balls. I mean, I mean, we could get real. We could actually use non lethal to restrain him to the point where somebody actually could try to try to to get a um get a stake into his heart. So let's I mean, the other option is, is ma- it's trying to hit him with massive flesh damage, like with, with like those flechette rounds from a shotgun or something like that. Well, I, I would offer this. The, the thing I like most about the idea of the, the sort of pepper balls, I though wonder what other part of the pepper that you shoot, but yet yeah, would be that if we use the flashbang grenades to blind his senses and we use the intense garlic to blind his olfactory sense, then we will have hopefully left nothing but hearing so if we can do something that would take that out as well leave him deaf blind and unable to smell us well they're flash then we could grenades, perhaps so they take him down with a stick <laughs> yeah the, the flashbang grenades are, are sight and sound so loud but wouldn't they those the activation of those devices also render us uh disabled while they're being deployed i mean if dracula is not able or the a vampire is not able to function because of the sound and light why would we be able to we th- we, we would have to throw them in the, in, in the room uh, and, and so we'd have to be careful how we use them well tesla could you not rig uh special earplugs that allow the normal sound of a voice through but not anything a decibel larger than say a normal vacuum cleaner or a jackhammer? Oh, geez, I don't know. That's a good question. I may have to ask Byron I mean, about. They already, it. they already kind of have stuff like that. They, they have do. like, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I didn't interrupt. No, that, that's, a, that's a brilliant idea, though. I mean, they, they kind of already have that. That, that kind of already exists. So, I mean, we could wear some kind of vision vision protection. I mean, our assumption is we can equip up as we need to to prepare for this if we do have to. Uh, deal with our own things. I don't know how we're going to, if, if we end up getting a backdraft from some of our, our hyper garlic, spicy pepper ball, paintball gun things. I love kimchi. Right? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how well we're going to be able to tolerate it if that happens, but I mean, we're the ones with the guns, so we just use it on him. And, and we, hope, we hope that we hit enough to 
really mess up his ability to function. You know, maybe if he's swinging wildly at us, we can just dodge away and then we can hem him in somehow. Maybe pump him full of darts and then put a stake through his heart. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, we're, we're, we're attempting to capture him alive. Yeah. Well, the stake doesn't kill him. Stake doesn't kill him. I don't know if you caught that, Tyler. I was, I walked away. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only disables them. Um, so, I I like the idea of using the taser because if you use a, a a taser with a probe on it, then that's electricity that's applied to him, and an electrical field that's applied to the target and not to the source. So that's the only thing we're talking about here that doesn't affect the user. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I think I, I think we could take a, try to take a multi-pronged approach. Some people have tasers, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. No pun intended. Yeah. No pun intended. Um, uh, have there are there any measurements on the electrical field generated, the electro electromagnetic field generated by any of these vampiric individuals? There was. Uh, there were some documentation and science basically when uh dracula was at the castle or was at the citadel in england when he came after harker where you guys first encountered him okay so we'll find that documentation and try to adjust some of our um calculations for our devices to try and accommodate that mm -hmm. I like yes. the idea of a of a some sort of Faraday cage for containment once we have subdued him in order to keep him subdu subdued. That so science subdued. and that science and information technical side of things is being worked on currently by a gentleman we call the Tin Man. The Tin Man. Okay. okay. So that's that technology is not currently ready. But it's theoretical. Can it we build not. a prototype? I right. believe he may have one. Then I think we've got to give it a shot. Can we get in contact with him to confirm that that is available? Absolutely. He'll be here next week. Next week. That gives Tesla time to build out all the rest of um, his weaponry, right? Yeah. So, um, I have a uh, uh, questions for the team, not necessarily for her. Are are so, we just taking her word that that we're all on the same side here, or are we going to have a conversation? Can we have a conversation, Byron, where she's not there? I think that's mm -hmm. what Dr. Mitchell is getting at. Well, I guess we'll move to our uh, our strategy meeting away from her, I guess, because it seems like we've been doing that already. Yeah. She's probably bored out of her mind. Yeah. I, I'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> scan the room for bugs and listening devices and all that stuff once we're separated out. I do have some things, Dr. Mitchell, as well, that um, I've been holding back to mention. So I'm with you on that. Okay. Is that is that appropriate now, Byron, or do you want to... Absolutely. All right. So we'll we get off to our own room and we'll do all a sweep. Uh, we're all probably relatively good at that. And then Dr. Mitchell, did you have something you wish to share? <laughs> do we just suddenly trust her? What is our motivation here? What evidence do we have? What it, What is her goal? I think we've got a common enemy My, for the moment, right? From the very moment she started speaking, I thought if I were her, that we would be the, the not the A team, we are the, the D team, the distraction, the wasting team, then and, and the more likely I would imagine the, the red shirt. Team. Should we all wear red shirts next week? There was, there was a movie, there was a movie, it was called the, what, the Expendable. The Expendables. Yeah, the Expendables. Uh, I, I strongly suspect that we're there as a distraction for a secondary or a primary goal. It could be that everything we've been told so far is a lie. I'll just be clear. If I were in her position, this is what I would be doing. And so I would not necessarily trust anything that she said 
about the um, the tactics may be fine, but the the strategy that she's after about this teen vampire, it may totally our whole in going in may be a distraction, so that while we keep him busy, they can extract something else. And if we survive, all the better. If we don't, okay. I, I mean, I suppose isn't that isn't that how all of our former agencies worked with us when we were still active? <laughs> I mean, I mean, do you think the NSA cared that my part, partner got her head ripped off, and then, and, and then I told them what it really was, and they just decided to put me in for a psych console and, and force me into retirement? Like they didn't care. So I don't see why this person would care about us very much anymore, any more than uh, they did. But I guess. I mean, she's she's human. <laughs> At this point, we've been talking. Uh, all the people we've been talking to have just been monsters. We don't know if she's human. We don't know. <laughs> Before we mm -hmm. jump to that conclusion, um, I mean, she was we'll about, about human to me. So. It's the most useful information. That would make a great title for the. Oh, so it's the most useful information that we've got so far from, and aside from you know pulling it out ourselves. Absolutely we've, true. We've got some support. We've got, we got a scientist. We've got a assless hospital gown if we need it. It's a little breezy. <laughs> and may I say, Evan, of all of us, I think you carried the assless hospital gown the best. Oh, well, thank you. And you also do know, you also do know that if if they wanted to be done with you, they had every opportunity to be done with you. Mm, that 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 is a good point. This I would fun. offer for a title for this episode. She's human. That's got to count for something. It might be a good title. <laughs> I love it. She's it's only bad. human. Oh, oh. She's human. That's got to count for something. Because I, I think that. Because um, because I, I I think that yeah we could be getting sent to our deaths, but at the same time, if she wanted to, if 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 they wanted to send us on su an absolute one hundred percent suicide mission, we could just go after Lilith because. It sounds like going after Lilith without knowledge would be just about as bad as going after Dracula without knowledge. Yeah, it does. I mean, honestly, without some experience, going after this one, the teenager or whatever it is, is going to be hard enough. But it, at least we've got a base. We've got a base now. We've got some support. We've got some <laughs> intelligence. And then what we do on the other side of it, much the same as Elle's bit, like, you know, she might decide to ha go another direction and we might want to follow her if she wants us to, you know? <laughs> but we'll have that choice. We'll have that yeah, choice. Absolutely. Of course, Evan, free will. I'm going to give you mm. a Capri Sun, Tesla. So, You're going to love it. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. Speaking of Capri Suns, what what's up? What about this link that you guys have from from the doing the, the vamp shot? This thing, I shake the box. Oh, oh, you mean with Elsbeth? Uh -huh. do, do I feel that, Byron? You mentioned that. I mean, when I'm in her presence, that she pretty much reads me. But do I feel that she's always sort of watching me and aware of me? Is there any kind of paranoia that's come with it, or just? Not really. Ears yeah. are constantly hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I, I don't necessarily red, think she's got me bugged or anything, or Lily, for that matter. But you know, when we were in the room together, she certainly didn't need me to speak. She knew everything was on my mind. Maybe it's proximity. Evan, make a suggestion. Yeah. That box that the pendant's in. Perhaps we should let Tesla look at that box. Tesla, if you could make a helmet that works like that box that Evan and Lily could wear, <laughs> perhaps it would... Like a tinfoil helmet? Pardon? Like a tinfoil, like a lead tin lead that's foil helmet? lead helmet? Yeah, that's You better work on your neck strength. Yeah, of course, Dr. Mitchell, of course, exactly, exactly. But if, it's, <laughs> if it can block Dracula from detecting that pendant... Then perhaps it could serve a purpose as a stealth device around vampires. I look like Master Blaster from uh, from Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> a big old helmet. It's on. not a terrible idea. Uh, let me take a look at it. It's covered, it's covered in runes, correct? Huh? And 
And I'm like, you, I, I'm starting to question considering all the things we've seen, if, if the lead is less important than these, maybe I just kind of trace the runes with my finger. It's like, maybe these are something maybe, essential. You trace them with your finger, they glow. Oh, shit. No way. Oh, so shit. Like, Tesla, you're natural. Maybe the Tin Man made and, this. And that... They, I mean, they, obviously, I think they, we're, we're straight up dealing with magic. We need to find I, out. Who I never made thought this. I'd say that. Yeah, we need to find out who made this box, though. Because if it's a Tin Man, we could have him manufacture all sorts of shit. Oh, dude, dude. like um, well, EverQuest, good. I want a rune sword. Huh? Right? Yeah. No? Right, Evan. Tesla, I think you're selling yourself short. I mean, magic is another form of technology. You're the master. You just need to crack it. I'm like, all right, I'm going to take out a piece of paper. I'm going to start writing down all these runes, and I'm like, we're going to have to probably research these. <laughs> I, like, signal with my hand to the rest of you, back away. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to tell me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I, I, you know, actually, they're, they're indentations, right? I can just take a scratching of them. Oh, you're going to etch it? Etch oh, it. yeah, etch it. Remember, yeah. You, guys etched, you guys etched the uh, the sarcophagus. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Are they similar runes? It's large. They are. Ooh. Hey, guys, we're at 1030. Would it be okay to take a five-minute bio break? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. Let's do that. That was a good five Then we're going to go about... Yeah, we're back. We are back, Byron. All right, welcome back. Woo, bio break. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, you guys were talking amongst yourselves now that uh, the hound is uh, no longer in the vicinity, and you were discussing what you were attempting to do moving forward. That we're all tools. Mm. <laughs> yes, indeed. Aren't we all? And we are everyone all. Everyone a tool. But are you a hammer or are you the nail? <laughs> I was a hammer. Lily's more of a hammer. With a bug. Um, I, I think we left off. Tesla was like doing something with a box, didn't we? Or was that where we? Yeah. yeah. So you were yeah. doing an etching of the room. Just bundling the room. Yeah, he was fingering his box. Fingering the box. Um, yes. and stuff. Uh, so yeah. Uh, anything weird happen while I'm doing that? You get charcoal on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that, no. And you do realize that as you're rubbing them, they don't glow. It's reacting to your blood. I bet. Put a little drop. I have blood on. My hand. I. You've got blood in your hand. I, I think I, that's it. Here, somebody else touch I, it. I prick my finger and just drip just a little drop. Ah. You prick your finger yeah. and you drop just one little a just on one it? little droplet. <laughs> Unless someone stops me, I mean, I'm like, oh look. Okay. I'm Stop moving like this one. Right. I'm interested to see what happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you put the you put the blood on it and you drip it on there, and a lot really happens. See, I tell you, <laughs> I just wipe it off, feeling like a jackass. So, so, uh, all right. So you go to wipe the blood off with your hand, and when you touch the box, the runes all glow. Like instead of glowing with the touch, like they all glow at once. Uh, oh shit! You activated it, uh, and and your eyes just kind of roll back in your head like you're having a seizure, and you just kind of fall backwards on the oh, ground. Geez. Oh, and nice! You have fuck. <laughs> you have a vision. Okay. You see, like a mausoleum. It's all made of like pristine white marble. There are different, uh, like names you can't really make them out but you just see them as like a flash in your head and you see flowers uh tulips no no no, no they're orchids 
they're orchids and they're like really large they're orange they look different than any other flowers that you've seen before they're very they're definitely orchids though of some sort and um then like your mind just kind of like goes away a little bit and then you like you can feel like somebody shaking you and you look up and it's it's one of the people here uh, like dr mitchell maybe probably dr mitchell yeah dr mitchell orchids orange orchids in a mausoleum they were huge i've never seen anything like it it's like from another world orange orchids what the fuck? What happened to me? Orange orchids. Yeah. I just remember touching the Is box. This... I saw a white mausoleum with that. You I had a, kind of relate like what I saw. Vision? Yeah. It, but it wasn't like a trip. I know. It's that's... hard for you to really, like, you didn't get a, a great look at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was more a flash. Was there a than, smell or a temperature or anything like that? Evan, like, was it daytime or nighttime? It was in, inside. It was daytime. Yeah, it was, it was daytime, of course. Evan? In what position was the sun? You couldn't have saw that. I, I, I woke up too quickly, Johnny. I was too focused on the flowers, but these orchids, I would never forget them. I, I make notes and sort of... Uh, but it was daytime. Yeah. Yeah. Was it noon, sunset, or dawn? Can you tell uh, anything like that? No, no, I don't know. It was, it was hard to tell because it was all white marble, right? So the light was just reflecting everywhere. But it was bright in there. And, uh... The damn flowers... I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't know Blood Orchids perhaps? I don't know. Is this does this sound familiar to us at all? Any have we come across in any of our readings any anything about any orchids or uh -uh. I wonder if you didn't see back through the connection. Perhaps. Maybe not to Dracula, or maybe to the maker of the box. But I have a sense that you were seeing some location. Um, is it related to Dracula or the box? I look up blood orchids on the uh, um, on the uh, internet. The Google? Yeah. The They're doing the Googles. Is that what they're... wrong color? No, uh -huh. these these are these were orange. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything uh, like it. Pull a bunch of photos of orchids. Uh, and yeah. Traffic analysis with a one point spin. I'll do it. Ooh. I'm assuming we got a refresh. Oh my god, there's rules in this game. Holy yeah. shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Dice? Were we supposed to bring dice? What? Yep, I'll do a one point spin. I'm assuming we got a refresh, Byron, after all the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys are totally refreshed. Cool. Sent. Uh, make a die roll. Oh shit, I got a. Okay. I didn't think about that. Yeah, there's dice? Yeah, I thought it was just a one point spin. It's been a while. Uh, er, 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 that's going to be a five, so total. So, so you're gonna, so you'll automatically have one point less to be able to make any additions. Yep. Your roll because you're making traffic analysis. Exactly. Yeah. So I rolled a five. So, so that's whatever be a your six. pool starts at, it's already one less. <laughs> then you rolled a five. Yeah. So yeah, I have. Uh, I had three. I've, I've knocked it down to two now because I did the spend. They're not blood orchids. They're definitely rare, though. Mm. They're dragon orchids. Dragon orchids. So I I, uh, I I will save that page and read it later. I sit up and try to shake that because I'm like you know, laying on the on the floor looking at with and, my phone. And know? they grow specific. They grow specifically in one spot in the world. Where? Romania or somewhere. Naples, Italy. Naples, Italy. Yeah. Naples. Uh, you want to perhaps do the Google on Naples and. White marble mausoleums yeah. of enormous magnitude. Was it big? <laughs> I'm sorry, Evan. Was it a big mausoleum or a small mausoleum? The room was good size, but I couldn't tell you what it the was, outside was. It was like. larger. Yeah. So I, I will do some research over the see what I can find out. Um, Around Naples mausoleum. He's gonna so encrypt kind of, everything before he does it. Yeah. So, I, oh, that's that's a given. That's an absolute given. Um, but I, I do think that focusing on the, so, Johnny, do you think maybe focusing on this vampire? I mean, 
God knows what I, I, the, the amount of crap I read. That could have just been a hallucination. Let me do some research and see if I can pin something down for you while we plan for this teenager thing. Sounds like an excellent idea, Evan. I'm glad this idea keeps you occupied between doses. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, sorry. I, 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 I just gave him straight. But yeah, very good, Evan. I think this is an excellent idea. You've done well to identify what you saw in your dream. <laughs> it's it's the That's little praise that I'm just sure keeps him going. Some drugs as a treat. So you uh, you do a quick Google search, and it, you do find something. It's called the Thimitra del Fontanelle. The what? It is a massive cemetery. Oh, okay. There have been new things that were built outside of it, but it's a charnel house and ossuary located in a cave in the hillside of Mater Dei section of the city, associated with a chapter in the folklore of the city from the 16th century. Hmm. Wow. What is it known for? Is it known to have some sort of healing properties or something like that? Dead people. Fontanelle. Thousands of stacked skulls. You said it's Fontanelle? Yeah, that's that's creepy. So look at some Fontanelle? of the pictures of that. Yeah, thousands of stacked skulls. So, but there was a white marble room because the pictures I see of that are more um, cave-like. Uh, sort of, you know, stone and lots and lots and lots of skulls. So I don't know that it's a proper chain. I mean, it might have been attached to that, but it wasn't. It doesn't right, look. yeah, it doesn't look like it was from inside. Oh, so my vision was of the outside of the mausoleum. Was it? Yeah, there's, okay. a, there's a modern, there's a modern era part that's been built outside of it. Okay. Would be also Lucy, and they only they, use they only use pure white Italian marble. You know what I wonder is if uh, if when I put the blood on it, maybe that was like a call, like uh, like reaching out. Maybe whatever it is is maybe the owner of this brooch is in that mausoleum. Yo, the brooch is Dracula, right? Oh. Or Lucy. No, it was a gift to Lucy. Lucy. Less than her. Well, it was gifted to Lucy, but... Mm. <clears throat> so we think we're tracking Lucy with these runes? I don't know. Possibly. Hmm. It, it, it is really unclear if we're tra tracking Lucy well, maybe you're at all. Maybe you're a friend. Maybe, I mean, maybe... That, yeah. uh, I, although that, that's, it's, it's a good bet. Maybe. I guess I'm not sure why it would be Lucy. Because it's her brooch. But it connected her with Dracula. Yeah. That's... Oh, shit. So why That's, would the connection connected yeah. to the brooch connect us to her if it connected her to Dracula? I don't know. I think we want to well, find out. it seems like the first them. guess would be Dracula. The second guess might be Lucy. It also might be the maker of the box. Um, right. It seems as though perhaps if we review the chapters in the book about Lucy, in the book, Lucy escapes. But we know that the book is a, a fictional narrative and that Lucy, if she's still alive, must have turned. I wonder, is there anything in the book, uh, the novel, that gives any indication of Lucy's attitude if she were turned to a vampire? He wanted to hunt him. She wanted to hunt Dracula? Mm -hmm. For doing to her what she what had been done. She was she was at some point between stages and she used the brooch to give Van Helsing information on where Dracula had went when he left England. Hmm. Maybe Lucy is the ally that we need. 
Maybe. Who knows? Hmm. If we capture um, Tesla's mark, <clears throat> perhaps we can ask some more pointed questions under duress. Right. And, and, and I really want, I, it's like, and, and he has to be a priority after all. I mean, I have unfinished business with him. Yeah. Well, you do know too that, you know that this supposedly this, this, Keen vampire or what have you that that Tesla knows is a descendant of Lilith, which is supposedly right. a descendant of Dracula. Right. But you know, you know for certain that Lucy is a direct descendant of Dracula. So he's a second cousin, thrice removed. <laughs> Versus Lucy, Lucy's a daughter. Daughter bride. So Lucy's his great grand aunt, probably. This would make one hell of a lifetime special, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed, it would. Probably better than anything they've had so far, I would say, Evan. Well, uh, I think we're committed, right, to going after the teen vampire first. Um, it is very interesting that this location. Um, perhaps we could put out some feelers in the area for any activities that we think would indicate to us perhaps what's happening is it possible through network we could find out a little bit more information about what's happening in this ossuary 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 how do you pronounce it uh, uh i think it was the latter uh, one yeah ossuary ossuary <laughs> where where <laughs> then i said yeah. it wrong <laughs> yeah Perhaps we could put a few. Do do we wish to divulge to the hound? Do we really have to call her the hound? Do you we really have? Name. You can call her whatever you want. Let's ask her her name. Um, She'll tell you your name is the hound. <laughs> Lady Hound. Lady Hound. My uh, name. Are hound. we going to share with her uh, this experience with the runes? I was thinking about that. I mean, uh, the first thought came to mind is that maybe we could use this as a bargaining chip, but I'm not sure, Doctor. <laughs> what makes us think that she doesn't already know that this works? Well, oh, there's, a hard. Key, there's a key difference from what you guys have done than what has happened before. As far as we know. We don't know that nobody's tried to put blood on it. Hey. So it's, a, it's not just the fact that we had blood. I think it's the fact that me and Evan have a connection that is different. Right. And our blood is different. Your blood is not related to the individuals connected to the brooch. No. Right. But no, but our blood is connected to Elizabeth. Right. Elizabeth. Which, which the ruins, whatever the fuck her name is, it doesn't ruins. matter. The ruins might have a different property depending on what you're doing with it. Like, on the box specifically, it could be some sort of protection. But separate from the box, when we put our blood on it, it could lead us down another path. I prick my finger, walk over to the box, drop the blood on it, and rub it. Nothing happens. I think Lily is correct. I mean, I, I, I'm inclined to agree as well. And the first place my mind goes is it might... So, it hold, could, this flower could be a way for me and Evan to separate from Elizabeth. Is the first place my mind goes. Why don't you try to do what I did and see if you have a vision of your own. So and <sighs> Lily and Evan drank the blood, right? Yeah. Yeah. But Evan Tesla rubbed the runes and and they glowed. You're right, but that was but Evan. Evan and then rubbed Evan his blood, put the blood on and had a out of body experience. And then Johnny, who didn't drink any blood, rubbed the runes with blood and it didn't do anything. Did he glow? Yeah. Did it, did it even glow, Byron? It not. I wonder it if Tesla not. has surreptitiously been fed vampire blood. 
<laughs> yeah, probably. Or or it has a timer on how many times it could be activated, or some these runes could have. Uh, who knows? So why don't you try it and see? But but please give us your sword first. <laughs> I'll try it. Yeah, you try and see, but please give us your sword <laughs> first. <laughs> I'll try it. Why not? <laughs> I'll prick my finger. I'll give somebody my sword so everyone feels better. <laughs> okay. And you rub your blood on it? I rub my blood on the runes. All right. So with that, you rub your... Uh, hand on the runes with the blood and sure enough they glow they all light up you have like a little out of body experience you like go down on one knee and you begin to see you you see like some orchids and you see skulls and then you see lots of skulls yeah. and then they're stacked up one on top of the other and your eyes flash open and everyone sees this. His eye or Lily's eyes are completely bloodshot red. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> and she's very pissed off. Uh I she, am. it's all right. She begins to stand up, and you can tell that there's gonna be combat, and with that, oh, <laughs> and the stream. Oh, oh. <laughs>